Many people are desperate to find something they can hang on to, something permanent. Uh, something that might even survive death. I mean, these are the claims of the religions and spiritual traditions. That uh, maybe there's something we can hang on to. Uh, the import from the East is this notion of I am. This sense of being, of existing. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's just a fabrication. Uh, the whole notion of I am, as hopefully you'll see in a few moments, is an illusion. Anybody who's familiar with uh, the Gurdjieff work will know that I am is a central idea in there, that we focus on our sense of existing. Well, of course, while you're while you are existing, while you're conscious, then you can do that. Although exactly what you're focusing on is is not particularly well known. Uh, there is a problem with it, however, that this I am, which we are told is a permanent feature, kind of disappears when we go to sleep, and it disappears under a general anaesthetic. And in fact, if you've ever had a general anaesthetic, you'll know that you completely disappear, you basically don't exist for the period of the uh, of the anaesthetic. These inconvenient facts are ignored. Um, people who talk about I am, of awareness and all these things, uh, then create some kind of fudge to get around these inconvenient facts that our sense of I doesn't persist. It disappears every night and uh, if we have an operation. The problem in all of this is that we just blindly import ideas from the East and I don't know whether these ideas have any legitimacy or not because in the East there may be a different understanding of them. But in the West we cling on to them because we've kicked out our own traditions, uh, the church mainly, the Christian church. And uh, so we hang on to imports from the East, which might just be total nonsense if you listen to U.G. Krishnamurti. He reckons that most of, well I don't think he said most, I think he said all, of the imports from the East are just the rantings of acid heads who just had their disciples around them writing down their rants while they were under the influence of drugs. Is that true? I don't know. I wasn't there. But um, at least somebody's saying, well, we shouldn't just stupidly import everything from the East thinking that it's going to be profound or enlightening or whatever. Uh, the problem in all of this is that the Western traditions are completely ignored. And there is a tradition, there's a philosophical tradition. We don't have to uh, go to the church, the, the Christian church, to get any kind of insight into our situation. The Western traditions have it, the Western philosophical traditions. They're ignored because they're difficult. Um, just a simple statement like, I am is something most people can understand and maybe they form some kind of notion of what that is but the western traditions are ignored mainly because they're difficult but there's nothing exotic in the western traditions people don't wear saffron robes they don't bar burn incense sticks particularly they don't have little bells that tinkle they don't have exotic sounding names so here's a a non-exotic sounding name, Immanuel Kant. And if you read his critique of pure reason, you'll find that he has a very solid argument that our sense of I is a kind of illusion. The words he might use go something like, our sense of I is a representation. The problem is, we don't actually know what we are. We are not equipped to know what we are. So, 
Hanging on to something like I am just leads to an unhealthy fixation. It's much, much better <coughs> to forget about all the formulas. It's better not to know. Now, for most people that will not be satisfactory because their mind, desperately making efforts to cling on to something, wants a formula. And I am is a handy dandy little formula. But it's better not to know. And then you're free of any kind of fixed and stupid ideas that might actually do more damage than, uh, than good. So, better not to know. Better to just admit that you don't know what you are, if indeed you're anything. And of course the Buddhists would say, well really we're not anything because we're just an aggregate. And I won't go into all of that. But it's better just to not know. What, what is the difficulty in living with the uncertainty of not knowing what you are? And, of course, there's a natural tendency to want to, <coughs> to fill in that gap. Well, resist the natural tendency. Because your answers to things are the things that are killing you, not the questions. <coughs> 